we defeated the giant spider and continued working our way into the web-filled caverns. So that's where we're going to pick up in this episode as we tiptoe, 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 tiptoe forward amongst the webbed carcasses. And we're actually the spider creeps ever closer towards us. Just all we can do is wiggle as it lifts us up. It carries us a little bit back into its cavern and wraps us up in its sticky web. Now we are nothing ourselves free, breaking one strand at a time. And now all we can do is hop along as this strange, mummified, or almost mummified creature. And we have to time our jumps a lot better, because it takes every ounce of strength we have cross gaps. We don't fall in the river, so that's lucky. It's a long and perilous journey as a small cocoon. Uh, so we're going to bump into this boulder, get it to roll into the log thing, make ourselves a little bridge jump backwards so it doesn't squish us, because we are very squishable right now, It'd be like a little burrito. Going to continue into a cave, oh, the caves are on a moving boulder, nearly jump straight into the spikes for crying out loud. So we have to balance on top of this rolling boulder. The, the spider's coming. Better roll faster. Better roll faster, buddy. It's coming for us. Trapped between a rock and a hard place here. A rock and a spider. Jump. Go for it, mate. Run. Uh, or we're going to slide down a brambly hill just before the spider lunges for us. Wake up, and for the most part, we're okay. Got a little bit of web stuck in our hair. It's trailing along like a little flag. Seems to be some sort of sad board. Oh dear. I hope that was a trap and not us hanging someone. swing up here then hopefully. Oh brilliant. Nice and easy. Can never be too careful out here. Gonna have to do some pretty serious parkour. Get from tree trunk to tree trunk. Some giant leaps of faith. Summer. Summon all your strength. Oh, nearly got impaled. 
speedy one. Okay, it's gonna shoot flaming tires at us now. That's pretty rude. If I'm being completely honest. And now I set all the grass on fire. Look at the smoke effects. Isn't that just really... Oh, it's, um, it's quite a nice effect. Seesaw for me, please. There we go. Alright. There we go. Yeah, it's a very narrow window for that jump, I think. They're still coming for us. We have to get out of here. Oh, oh goodness. I think. I thought 
this part was gonna get us then for sure. It seems like it's in a weird place. Quite the just some weird shapes for these hills. A couple of rivets out of the uh, the mountains. Very bumpy. Oh, sliding down again. Another clearing. Spike pit. What's... Oh. Seriously, this thing does not give up, does it? I remember this battle. Gonna pull your own leg off, Sonny. And it's still, um, well, okay, the leg's still twitching, that's kind of gross, but it's still purring. It's like some kind of gross cat. But we all know what we have to do now, don't we? To get across that gap. Gonna have to, uh, gonna have to, uh, put our good friend out of his misery. Nasty. Good night, sweet prince. Okay, some hanging boxes. And a gap that we can't cross. So we climb the ladder. slide down after this box, push it over and climb up the previously inaccessible area. We're heading into another dark cavern. This boy is certainly braver than I could ever be. wasn't sure that I could make it. And I guess we have to jump on the corpse here, which is pretty gross. And we're forced to watch a cutscene in which the little grub forces the boy to drown himself. Which is pretty atypical of parasites. They usually want to survive. Unless there's something in the water that eats the corpses that they're trying to make their way into. So it looks like if I trigger that thing, I'm gonna get squished. Ah, uh, right. I know. Let's drag a corpse into it instead. There had to be a reason for that one to be so close to the shore. This poor boy has uh, given much for us to continue living. But I'm sure he didn't feel that. And on the way past we see these uh, head things actually eat the white parasite worms. So we'll have to remember that for later, I think. And in the background there, you can see a, a little body with the worm coming out of its head. Same thing again. Okay, 
Sounds like they're shooting darts at me, which is pretty mean. Okay, so one falls in the spike pit. Oh, oh. So I wasn't quite fast enough for that time. Caught a dart in the back of the head. So I'm going to stick around. in, slips and dies. The second one, crushed by the elevator. The third one, crushed by the second. Uh, well, I called it an elevator, but it's not really an elevator, is it? It's more like a, a press, a bias kind of device. A bias device. I think we might call that an episode. So thank you for joining me on our continuing journey deep into the limbo. And I hope to see you next time.